Welcome back to our new series celebrating the full release of Captain of Industry. We're playing on a very cool looking map, Isula Mortis, also a big map with a lot of challenges. Follow this series to learn how to master the game or just enjoy this fun ride. Let's dive in. And welcome back to episode 15. And it's gonna be a big one. In the last episode, we did a lot on our food production. You may remember we upgraded our city, we now have almost 4,000 of population. And we also have this amazing food factory over here. You can find the blueprint, of course, on my Discord community. With this, we are going to try to feed all of our people with all 11 types of food with the edicts for plus 50% of consumption. So this will require a lot of farms, right? And this is why we have started to increase the number of farm. I think at the end of the last episode, we were at eight. Now we have 12. And to be honest, 12, we may need even more. And I'll explain why. So we're going to talk about farms, we're going to talk about fertilizer, we're going to talk about contracts, but more importantly, we're also going to start moving forward in the tech tree, start doing some new researches so that we can get to the research level 5. We're going to build some new resources like the silicon poly, the PCB, the electronics level 2, and much more. Let's dive in. So as I said, first and foremost, we now have 12 of these greenhouse level 1. And with those 12, this is actually exactly what I need to feed all of my people, you know, to feed all of the resources needed on the market, but also to have enough extra to feed my chickens and all of this. But this will only be enough. And when I say enough, you know, I have calculated everything, you know, I have some all of the numbers, etc. This will only be enough if all of those farms are at 140% in terms of fertility, which is possible if you have, you know, fertilizer level two, you can get up to 140%, but that is a lot of fertilizer. And if you know me, you know that I like to calculate things. And so I calculated, this is actually more than 150 of fertilizer. So this is a lot of fertilizer. You see this because you know that over here, one fertilizer will give 2% of fertility. You see over here how much fertility you're gonna be needed. So it's not that hard to calculate, but of course each different uh, greenhouse will have different fertility needs and all of this. So, you know, I calculated more than 150. We have been producing fertilizer level two already, all right, through our diesel production over here, but we will never produce 150, more than 150 on a consistent basis. I mean, this is definitely never consistent because this is really linked to the byproducts of the diesel and often the diesel will be full, etc. So we are not going to uh, be able to rely on this, but there is a solution. I do want to mention though, that as I said, you know, it's 150 for all of those farms. That's not such a great idea because it's a lot of fertilizer. It would be a better idea to actually have more farms. The problem is right now, I don't really have a lot of fertile soil. You know, I mean, yes, here we have a bit more of uh, fertile soil if I wanted. If I were to drop a lot of soil over here, and you know get my copper from the other side of the map over here we could definitely you know have more space we could almost maybe not double but almost double our farms and frankly this is maybe what i'm gonna do in the future but yeah for now i wanted to show you about the fertilizer so as i said we cannot really rely on this we need to rely on something else so let's click on the recipe book f1 and check the fertilizer we want the fertilizer level 2 to make fertilizer level 2, we need the fertilizer of level 1 plus a bit of limestone and sulfur, that's not a problem. So let's click on fertilizer level 1 now. To make this one, there is only one way. There is only one way over here, right? Chemical plant has our level 1 or level 2. When you go to level 2, you double it, but it's the same, right? You need ammonia plus oxygen. Oxygen is easy, right? There's many ways to make it, and in particular, we can just use the air separator. Ammonia is not so easy. So let's click on ammonia. There is actually two ways for ammonia. The first one is the sour water to transform it, you know, with a bit of steam into the ammonia. And by the way, it will also create sulfur, which we need. So this is what we've been using in our diesel production, right? Another way is to make hydrogen plus nitrogen to make a bit of ammonia. The problem is that hydrogen is not so easy to do. If you click on it, you know, to make hydrogen, basically the main way is uh, through water. Right? So for example, 6 water will make 12 hydrogen. So it's not a lot of water. The problem is the building. The electrolyzer, right? We're talking about 4 people, it's not huge, but we're talking about 3.6 megawatts. So the reality is that in the end game, this is actually not so bad. You can have nuclear, have a lot of megawatts, but 
right now this would be a lot of megawatts for just a bit of hydrogen and we're gonna need a lot of hydrogen because we're gonna need a lot of ammonia so instead it's better to look at the sour water but the problem is there's not that many ways to actually create sour water this one over here is what we've been using, which is to when you transform your crude oil, you get a bit of sour water. The problem is obviously you don't have you know, crude oil running around. And when you create this, you also create all of those other things. So this is not great. Once again, you know, this is more a byproduct. You could start to crack all of your diesel. But once again, then you're going to need even more crude oil. It's not, in my opinion, the best way. The best way is actually contracts. Because there is one of the contracts, if you look over here, F3, one of the contracts will give you sour water in exchange for slag. The reality is there's not that many things you can do with your slag, except, you know, expand your island. So it is actually a pretty good deal. It is also quite a lot. 436, because 436 is actually going to give you a bit more than 100 of ammonia. But then almost 100 of ammonia is going to give you almost 300 of fertilizer. And then 300 of fertilizer level 1 will give you even more fertilizer level 2. So with this contract, if we were to do this contract every month, we would definitely get enough fertilizer. The problem is we can't really do this contract every month. For example, over here, this is going to take six months, right? So six minutes, if you wish. One minute is one month in the game. So six months. If I unclick this one, then three months, it's still not one month, right? <laughs> and this on top of this doesn't even include the time needed to unload. Um, so it's always a bit more. You could have multiple of those to have multiple ships, but then that's also going to start to cost a bit more in terms of resources, in terms of unity, etc. Plus, on top of this, you would need to have quite a lot of slag, right? Because we need 1000 of slag for um, one trip, right? And that leads me to the big problem with this is how do I produce 1000 of slag? It's not so easy. Yes, we have many production that are creating some slag as a byproduct, but most of them is small amount, right? The only real way to make a consistent amount of slag that is not linked, you know, to other production is this one. Sulfur plus limestone equals slag. And it's not too bad because the reality is we do produce more sulfur than what we need. Right? So it could be good to have this so I don't have to burn it. But we also need limestone. I don't have that much limestone. It's not infinite. But with this, we would create slag. On top of this, obviously, if you needed, you know, 1000 per minute, obviously, we would need a lot of those mixers. But it is actually possible. There is even another contract to get a lot of limestone, 1000 of limestone. So, you know, it is not impossible. And maybe in the future, I will move into this direction. Or maybe, as I said, I will move into the direction of having more farms. We'll see. But for sure, it's a good use of my slag to send it, you know, to this boat. Right now, it's not full. As soon as it gets full, basically, it's going to depart. And then it's going to bring a lot of sour water. This sour water is going to be dumped into this fluid module. By the way, we're talking about 400 versus 1000. So what you want to do is you put three of these uh, loose module of um, slag and one of these for the fluid module. Then, as I said, it's going to go into this one over here, right? And the sour water will continue on this line here. It's not the perfect spaghetti, but anyway, it's working. I have six of those sour water strippers. They're going to have a bit of steam. The steam is coming from this one boiler over here. And then they will make the sulfur, the ammonia and the water. The water will actually go back into the boiler to make sure that the boiler always have water. And the extra water is actually going to go into the ocean because it's not a lot and I already have a lot. Then we're also going to have sulfur and ammonia, right? The sulfur is going to go over here uh, in the front. The ammonia is going to go in the back there. So this ammonia then is going to go into chemical plants, as we said, with some oxygen from those air separators to transform into fertilizer. So that means that over here in the front, we have the sulfur at level zero. We have also some limestone that's coming from this reserve there. And we have at level zero over here, the fertilizer level one. Then it's fertilizer level one, limestone and sulfur. They're all going over here into two mixers to make uh, you know, fertilizer level two, which will then go into this fluid storage once I built it and then be delivered into all of my farms. You know, it goes at level zero over here, all the way continues to all of them. So all of them will get fertilizer thanks to this. Right now with this production, I would be able to produce enough for what I need, because remember I need around 150. I have two of these 
that are 84. So we could definitely actually have enough if we had enough fertilizer. And to have enough fertilizer, we need enough ammonia. And to have enough ammonia, we need any enough soil water. The reality is I know I'm not producing enough slag right now for this. I'm not going to lie to you. But this could work. And so, of course, I will put in the video description below uh, the blueprint for this if you want to use it. There is, by the way, also over here some burners to make sure that this over here never gets full of sulfur. We could also do things with the sulfur, like I said, for example, transforming it into slag. That would be a good idea. But for now, I don't have that. So yeah, as I said with this, we could produce enough fertilizer to feed everybody. We also do need enough water, right? Because there's quite a lot of water. And this farm alone, for example, is 40 per minute. So in total, my 12 farm over here, they need 493 of water per minute. This is huge. But the good thing is we're actually producing even more. I'm producing more than 600 with those things over here. So that's not a problem. The only thing needed is to make sure that you have, you know, two pipes level uh, three because this is 450. Given that we have almost 500, we need two pipes. So with this, we'll be able to provide all of the water and some of the fertilizer, not all. But we'll get there, we'll get there. Don't hesitate to tell me in the comments below if you have better ways, you know, to manage your production. I know many of you will say, for example, probably I should just have more farms. But once again, I don't really have a lot of fertile soil over here. So that's what we have to deal with for now. More importantly, let's move forward with our productions. For now, I've made a couple of small temporary productions. I haven't actually upgraded the bus over here because in the next episode, I'm going to show you a magnificent final bus that has everything on it. At the end of the last episode, we unlocked the silicon and electronics too. So with this, we could start making some poly, some silicon poly. We could also start making some graphite. That's quite important. And then with all of this, we had two new recipes. The recipe for PCB, which is required for electronics level 2. And that was quite important to start that production because the next research is blocked by this. If you don't produce 20 of electronics level 2, you cannot do this research. It doesn't even work if you have found them on the map. You need to produce them yourself. And then with this, we were able to do construction level 4. So we have a new one, which is part 3 plus electronics 2 equal part 4. And then we also have the mechanical parts plus electronics too to make maintenance level two because we're gonna start having a new type of depot that requires maintenance level two. And with all of this done, we have also unlocked a couple of new ones here because these ones, you can see they are actually done with Research Lab level three. So we can do them um, anytime we want, but also we have unlocked Research Lab level four, which we are doing now. This will also require electronics level two. So let me show you a couple of those layouts. The first one is for the silicon poly. We have a couple of new buildings. The first one is the arc furnace. This is going to take the sand and coal plus graphite. So I need to show you how to make graphite. I know, I know. But yes, if you do all of this, you're going to create some molten silicon, a bit of slag and some exhaust. So this is what you can see over here. We have the three inputs, the graphite, the sand and the coal, right? They're all going over here. And then on the other side over here, we're going to create a couple of things, right? We have the molten silicon that's going over here. We have the slag that's going into those loose storage to be then sent to my contracts. And then we have a bit of exhaust to be sent into the air. And then this molten silicon is going to go into a silicon reactor where we take a bit of the hydrogen to make the silicon poly, right? So the hydrogen also needs to be made. And in this case, I actually used the electrolyzer too I just showed you before where we just take this way a bit of water. We have the oxygen that's sent to the atmosphere and we're making hydrogen. And so with this, we're creating a lot of this silicon poly that goes into this unit storage. But of course, as always, you'll find on my Discord community this blueprint if you want to use it. But how are we making graphite? There are actually two ways to make graphite. And I'm not going to lie to you. In the future, you should definitely use only this one turn all of your carbon dioxide into graphite, right? It's a perfect way to reduce the pollution, the air pollution from the carbon dioxide. Unfortunately, right now, we don't have the chemical plant level two. So we don't have a choice. We need to use this one over here, which is coal plus chlorine. will make us some graphite and sour water. So I actually added it over here next to my fuel production. 
for a couple of reasons. The first one is remember you need coal and chlorine. I have both of these there, right? We have the coal coming directly there. We have the chlorine over here. So it was easy, you know, to fit all of these. And then we get two outputs. We get the graphite, which goes into this one easy. And we get some sour water, which for now I just put in the fluid storage. I could have piped it back into this one over here, but I'm actually just transporting it, you know, to the new production we've seen over here. But the re and the reason I didn't make it very complex is because again, this is temporary. As soon as we get the chemical plant level two, we're going to make graphite through CO2. Then we want to start making some PCB and some electronics, which are taking those PCB. So again, this is temporary. We're going to improve the bus soon, but this is working, right? It just takes a few trucks from time to time to deliver some resources. And so I will put, as always, on my Discord community, this blueprint. We have an assembly electric taking the glass, the plastic and the copper. They are all here. That's easy to make the PCB. Then the PCB, some of them we can store over here. The others we're going to send into this one. That's going to take the PCB, the electronics and the silicon. So electronics is over here. The silicon is there, right? And with this, we're going to make electronics level two. And so again, as I said, with this, we have been able to unlock parts level four. I have zero right now, but we have unlocked them. And we are unlocking also research level five. In the north of the island over here, we've also finished completely to take out all of the sand that was underground, that was, you know, the teeth over here. We've taken it all out and put it into all of those gigantic, you know, loose storage. It is actually a lot more than what I expected. I think this is quite a lot. I'm not sure it is worth it to do it for the others, right? We have already a lot of sand there, a lot of sand also in the back over here. And remember, you can even make sand yourself. So yeah, I'm not sure we're gonna uh, do that for the others. I think I'm just gonna cover this all now and use that space. With all of the stones that we are getting over here, I've started to also expand over here. We have a bit of a new arbor after the arbor over there and over there. We have also started to expand on this corner to try to reach this uh, island in the back of the... Is that copper? There's so much copper on this map, it's crazy. Yeah, in the back of the copper. And last but not least, you may have seen that I moved a couple of buildings here and there. So for example, over here we have the captain office that is in this corner. We have the beacon that is at the entrance of my big arbor. We have put uh, the shipyard over there. It's not over here anymore, etc. A few other changes. I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. I think we're making some great progress. And in particular, in the next episode, I told you, you're going to see a huge change. We're going to upgrade our ship and start attacking more pirates. We're going to build a gigantic bus that will get us to the end of the game and many other things. So please smash the like button and I hope to see you next time.